Hi, I'm Senator Tom Harkin. As you all know, I am a senior member of the Senate Appropriations Committee, and uh, we have been working very hard over the last few months to put together a disaster package that would respond adequately to the floods and tornadoes, uh, other disasters in Iowa and around the nation. Of course, as you have read, uh, a recent hurricane hit Texas, that was Hurricane Ike, and right before that was Hurricane Gustav, that also hit Louisiana again. And so uh, we wanted to make sure we incorporated those in our disaster package. Uh, so late last night, uh, uh, Congressman Obi, who is the chairman of the House Appropriations Committee, I and others working together, uh, were able to finalize this package. It is about a $23 billion disaster <laughs> aid package. Uh, now this will go nationally, this is not just all for Iowa, but this is nationally. Uh, of that, we have about $6.5 billion in there for the Community Development Block Grant Program. Uh, that is going to be very meaningful for homeowners, small businesses, our communities to uh, help repair and replace uh, uh, public uh, things that may have been damaged by the floods and other disasters. And again, Iowa, we don't know exactly how much money Iowa will get, but it will be a big portion of that because we will have to put in our assessments, our damage assessments, and once we get that in, then that money will flow to Iowa. Now, as you already know, uh, just this week, uh, the Department of Housing and Urban Development released $85 million to Iowa. Now that came from the $2.65 billion we put in uh, in June. And so I've been a little frustrated that this has been very slow in coming, but, but we finally got it. And there's another uh, $200 million uh, that should be coming out there very soon for community development block grants. And, um, and again, Iowa will get a big portion of that. Uh, now, the final thing that's uh, specific to Iowa, the one thing that is absolutely specific to Iowa, and I'm very proud that we were able to get, is $182 million to, for the courthouse to be built in Cedar Rapids. Uh, this is much needed, it's overdue, and uh, with this, uh, hopefully we can start building that courthouse uh, next year in Cedar Rapids. So all in all, to sum it up, a $23 billion disaster aid package, $6.5 billion for community development block grants, $182 million for the courthouse in uh, Cedar Rapids. So again, now all we, what we have to do in Iowa is get our damage assessments in, get our requests in, and hopefully uh, we'll be able to start accessing some of that money. Now, as I said, this is just the appropriations committee uh, that we've agreed on but I see no reason why uh, we won't get a sign off from the administration. They were involved in our negotiations and I think the administration will sign off on it. So hopefully in the next uh, week or two before we get out of here, we will uh, pass this and the president will sign it and uh, then we'll start getting that money out to Iowa to start uh, uh, rebuilding and, and uh, getting our homes uh, fixed back up and our businesses back, uh, back in business again. So again, I'm just very pleased about this and, and, uh, and uh, working with Senator Grassley and working with the rest of our Iowa delegation, believe me, we're on top of this and we're going to continue to dog it to make sure there's no backsliding.